LeBron calls for a sub and doesn't run back. So we have Malik Beasley, who passes it to Jared Vanderbilt. That's two points. LeBron's losing it. He's walking off. We can't see anything, but just wait for it. Uh, LeBron just is straight up never, he just doesn't show up in the play. It's four on five the entire time. They still got a decent look, it just didn't go in. And there's LeBron. And then we have this post by Berea Clamped LeBron about LeBron not getting back against the Suns. So it begins with a pull up from Westbrook that uh, does not hit anything. You just look at LeBron, not a lot of fight for that rebound. He's off screen, uh, he's still off screen. There's an offensive rebound, still no LeBron to be found. And then we had this one where the T-Wolves were not exactly guarding Westbrook in the corner. And that's off, and then Towns does what he does. I was very high on the Lakers coming into the season, man. I figured with Westbrook as the third option and LeBron and AD hopefully being healthy that it would work out even if it would be a bit awkward. This play here kind of sums up a lot of it. Shout out to Reddit for providing me all of this. Um... Yeah, they're what, like 2-8 and eight in their last 10 games or whatever it is? They're like one game up on the 10th seed or 11th seed right now. We get this on offense as well. It's the uh, the LeBron center lineup, which for a brief amount of time looked like it was going to be not the savior of this team, but it might help about a bit. It's, it's getting bad real quick, man. It's definitely a win if you're a LeBron hater this season. I'm sure Pat Bebb has been waiting a while to do something like this. And Steph has... Been diagnosed with a sprained ligament, left foot. I think the hope is that they can have him in round one, but man, one game. It wasn't even like a whole game, it was like 10 minutes of Clay, Draymond, and Steph. Let's check out Dinwiddie's buzzer beater. I had a tweet saying that the Wizards should run an investigation on Dinwiddie. Obviously, that was a joke. Uh, I think when you really think about it and, and the way that Dallas has leaned on Dinwiddie, and, I mean, there was that whole thing about how the Wizards kind of rejected him as a leader or whatever, whereas Dallas has embraced it a little bit more. Dallas, to me, is, like, a decently scary playoff team. I mean, it all depends on the matchups and all that, but with Luka and just what Dinwiddie has done for them and how different they are and more athletic they are without Przingis, it's going to be something, these playoffs. And then we had this from KD. You got to take this game over. You got to shut the fuck up. I love how the ref just had no idea what to do. Ben Simmons has remained sidelined, irritation, disc, lower spine. Does Ben Simmons have like a semi-serious back issue that we don't know about? Is this like the Kawhi thing where we're like, yeah, he'll be back, and then it's like, okay, what the hell's going on? Granted, different body parts, I know. Shen Goon drops McGee, self-lob. This is the most out-of-nowhere NBA highlight ever. It seems like it's going nowhere, and then it becomes Tracy McGrady in the All-Star game. Want to know what else is great about this one? Shen Goon played 26 minutes. And if you dive into Rockets internet, they have been desperate for him to get minutes all season. 